All right, everyone. So we have our third Hell of a Boss short. So we already watched the first two. And if you are curious about them, if you want to check them out, I will leave a link to the second one at the end of this video. So the one that was released before this. And I will leave a link to the first one in the description. And I will also leave a link to my Hell of a Boss playlist that I have here on the channel. And that playlist includes my reaction to pretty much everything Hell of a Boss. So all the episodes and including the other two shorts will also be there. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, if you're curious about what my thoughts are on, you know, the Hell of a Boss episodes, everything in season one up until, uh, you know, the very last episode of season two, which I think was episode seven, Apology Tour. So it's all going to be available there. You can find it right there. And any other links will also be in the description. I will leave a link to Vivzy Pop's channel and I will leave a link to this one. So you can make sure to go watch the actual short itself to, you know, actually support them and go to her channel so you can subscribe and find other ways to support her and her crew over at Spindle Horse so they can bring us more content like this. And if you want to support me, if you want to support my channel and what I do here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to share this video out there. And please, guys, comment down below. All those things really do help videos out with the algorithm. And let's go ahead and watch this. So this is Mission uh, Weeaboo Boo. Now, I have been enjoying these Hell of a Boss shorts. I've been enjoying these because, you know, they, uh, they give us more on the characters. They give us more time with these characters, which I always really do enjoy. And I do think this was definitely smart on their part. And I think I talked about this in one of the other reactions to one of the other shorts. But I think this is really smart because it's a way to give the audience content until the release of the next episode, which I think is going to be happening in October. And then the next one will be in November. And then the last one, the season finale, the season two finale, which will be in December. I think if I remember the schedule that they uh, released correctly. Anyway. Uh, with all that said and out of the way, I think I've said uh, everything I need to say. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and watch this. And uh, yeah, anyway, here we go. Yeah, you know, strong language, sexual themes, the usual for uh, Elbow Boss. As always, hold on. As always, we do, we do gotta, we do, we have to read this. But first of all, I just want to see this real quick. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can see the uh, the Moxie and Millie <laughs> dolls that he uh, that he made his coffee mug. Although this artwork, um, I um, is that supposed to be who I think it is? I, I could be wrong, but uh, you know the the hair, spe specifically that color, is uh, definitely reminding me of another character that. Uh, or another artist that we, uh, I think we might be familiar with. I don't know if that's who that's being referenced here. And uh, I think I have an idea of who this might be. I could be wrong because there's two people, uh, there's two characters that I'm thinking of that this one here reminds me of. Although I don't know who specifically they're referencing here. If you have thoughts or if you know who I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, let's continue. Okay, so this is their target. So her name's Ember Lynn. Pinko, I think. Uh, boring suburbs in a boring town in Rugby, USA. Gothy 20 something. Uh, okay, so she ships Grimbleson with Sean Nathan instead of Blor Binzo seven years ago. And it's basically, Ancestor or something, not really, but this bitch seems really upset about it. So the reason why they, <laughs> so the reason why they hired someone to kill her was because she, uh, she shipped a character that, um, that they that they didn't like or uh, she i guess supports a ship that this whoever this person is that hired them doesn't like it so um thanks mills but i don't think i need backup to take down some suburban college girl you enjoy that bullshit musical and stop trying to use me as an excuse to get out of it hey look if i had to sit through that miserable french hog shit well so do you okay bye mills okay Ooh, bingo B-Y-N-G-O. <laughs> sorry, sorry, what did he say? Hold I on, love killing sh B Y N G O. B Y N G O. Jesus Christ. Like, is he just dyslexic or is he just did did he just never learn? <laughs> I love killing shooting things. I'll use a saw, I'll use a fork too. Da -da -da -da. Ow. Ow. What? Ow, what the fuck? Oh, must be watching them damn hentes again. Why won't she leave? 
How? How are you doing this? What is that? It's official merch from Akuma no Oto. It's the pendant given to Setsuki in episode 569. A demon? Here to steal a little kitten like me? Wait a minute, hold on. No, that's that's actually um Okay, I I know you're probably not supposed to think too seriously about this, but that's actually a good question. How the hell is something like this being sold in the real world and no one in either heaven or hell knows about this? I mean, I, I gotta be honest, like, this is one thing that, um, I'm really hoping this show in the future does actually address because this is something that's been kind of bugging me for a while. Um, what happened to the whole, we really need to keep the whole heaven and hell thing a secret? You know, what, what happened to that? Remember when, when Solos was telling Blitz and the gang that, hey, they need to be careful because... They need to make sure Hell's higher-ups don't find out what's actually happening with them because it could get them in trouble. And their antics on Earth could get them in trouble. Remember that? And we just, we never, like, got any follow-up on, on that. Again, it, the show wasn't over. There's still some time. So I'm, I'm hoping it's something that's going to be addressed. Now, even if it's not addressed in this season, at least in the next season or maybe in the next one, it just, it has to be addressed at some point in the show because they can't just have that and then not really do anything with it because otherwise, why did you even include it in the show in the first place? So yeah, I don't know. It just, it feels a little bit weird and I don't know. Just uh, anyway, uh, let's continue. Forced to be part of your demonic harem washes. Huh? Oh, why do you think I would do something like that? Oh, you're one of those. Thing like- A demon! Yeah, this one right here. Similar to the one we just saw. Yeah, here. So again, I'm wondering, is, uh, is this supposed to be in a, a reference to another movie that is also very famous with, you know, that crowd on the internet? So what's your name? Uh, Blitz? What are you gonna do to me, Blitzy Coon? Dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I, just, I just saw this. Really? Really? Is this even allowed? Legitimately, is this legally allowed? Or does this kind of uh, fall under parody? So, um... Daddy. But when you look into my... I'm sorry. I just... I, I keep noticing the... Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. I keep noticing the, the stuff in the background. This looks familiar. It looks familiar, but I can't remember what from. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's, let's just move on. My eyes! It's like I have no control over my... Ah, you you're for the loss of your wife! Your wife? Blitz, at this point, this is just, just run. Ew, lady, run. look, I was sent here to kill you, all right? You were a bitch online one time, someone didn't like it, they put a hit on you. I know it's excessive, but I don't make the rules, oh well. Of course! You want to take my mortal soul to hell so that we can be together forever! Bitch, can we hurry this up? Oh, yes! Thanks. Oh, can you please stop enjoying this so much? Fuck! I will see you on the other side. Okay, before we before we continue, I'm just gonna make a prediction. It will be really, really fucking hilarious if she actually ends up in heaven. I'm I'm just I don't know if that's actually gonna happen, but um, we'll see. Blitzy Coon, I'm here, Blitzy Coon. I'm here for you, my love. I'll be by your side forever, Blitzy Coon. Dude, see this this is why I said you you should have just left her alive. Anyway, oh, sorry if you heard that. I hit the stand uh, a little bit. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else uh, written? Oh, okay, written by Adam Nalen. Okay, so I think the one before that was written by Vivzi, I think, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Was it, was it also Adam who wrote the, uh, the, uh, the one before this? Because I know uh, Morgana wrote the first one, the one about Sally Mae. Uh, I, I think it was Adam who wrote the second one. I could be wrong. But yeah, so he wrote this one, and uh, who voiced the uh, who voiced the character? I'm kind of curious. Oh, okay, so it was Monica Frank. Okay, okay. Uh, and any additional voices? Okay, so I'm guessing they voiced the uh, the parents. Yeah, I mean the dad I kind of recognized was Brandon. Just you know, he kind of lowered his voice a little bit. Um, but I, I didn't I didn't recognize the other one as as Monica. If I'm being honest. Anyway, 
uh is there anything else no okay so that's pretty much the uh pretty much the episode so yeah um Oh boy. Uh, so this was, this was fun. Again, I really, really do enjoy these. I still think the first one is my favorite because not only was it fun, but it was also kind of character focused. So I think that's one of the reasons, I think that's, um, one of the reasons why it's my favorite because I, I just, I love character stuff. And, uh, the, the other two or the second and third one are fun. Like they're really fun and I, I do enjoy them again. I, I just, I love seeing these characters and I'm looking forward to the next one, which I don't know if, um, uh, the next one is going to come out in September, or if maybe they'll leave September free to get people excited for October, which is going to have the next episode. Again, according to the uh, the schedule that they released, uh, it is still possible that maybe, you know, something could happen to where they have to delay the episode to the next month. And, you know, because stuff happens behind the scenes again. Um, but if if everything goes well, then in October we'll get the next episode. So maybe they'll leave September free to get people excited for the next one i could be wrong or maybe there will, really will be another short in uh september and of course then you know october will get the hopefully we'll get the next episode and then november and december same thing we'll get the other two episodes december was going to have the uh, finale for season two uh anyway anyway guys um let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below this uh, this went on for a little bit longer than i thought uh, this is only a four minute video and the uh, video might be over 15 minutes long i didn't plan for that to happen but uh eh. anyway it is what it is um depends on how long it is after i do the obvious you know edits that i have to to not only make it fair use but also to edit out anything that could um you know get this video age restricted because there was a lot and i mean you can even see one of them <laughs> right there which uh oh boy anyway with uh, all that said out of the way i think uh yeah we're just gonna go ahead and end it but uh as always, before I end the video, guys, I do have to ask you, as, as always, if you want to show your support, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, share this video out there. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to, again, help support the channel. Maybe you could become a channel member. And if you are, you will get the uncut version of this episode. You'll get the episode as a whole. And, you know, if you are interested in that and, you know, you can become a channel member, which will also be a great way to help support the channel. If you really want to support what I do here, I would really appreciate it. And I think, yeah, I've said everything and I will go ahead and let you guys go. Bye for now.